From Tampa Bay's News Leader, this is The Morning Show. Well, five things you should never, ever eat. Tips for losing weight, keeping that weight off, and then living a healthier lifestyle. Is that one of it? Well, we'll find out from an expert who's going to tell us what foods to stay away from coming up next. Well, what do you do uh, with Bill Clinton and Ellen DeGeneres? Uh, what do they have in common? Well, they are at least five things that they have in common. They're all foods that neither of them would ever eat. So what do you do? Do you follow their advice or do you keep doing and eating those things? Well, it's part of their lifestyle choices and to eat healthier by cutting back things like salt, refined carbs and chemicals. So what do you do? Well, you ask the expert. Joining us now this morning is Tina Saki. She's a health coach and author. Tina is going to break down the foods and the stuff that's in them that packs on the pounds. First of all, welcome. Five foods Ellen DeGeneres and Bill Clinton would never ever eat would be cheeseburger, donut, french fries, margarine, and soda pop. And the reason why they wouldn't eat those food items is because they are vegans and what that means is they follow a whole food plant-based diet and they don't, they stay away from animal derived products and they also stay away from artificial ingredients, refined carbs, processed sugar, and trans fats. And trans fat. Okay, now you you have the donut there. You have the hamburger. Right. And I some people will think, oh, tasty, good, nice snack in the morning. A donut. We had plenty of those this week for right, Valentine's right, Day. Right. Right. Well, I want you to know, Joe, that. This cheeseburger, specifically this one right here, and this donut right here, I bought September 18, 2004. That's over eight years ago. Oh and if you look at them, they are pretty much the same, wouldn't you say? And yes. the only thing that's missing, if you look closely to the cheeseburger, you still see the cheese, you still still see the pickle, you still see the, the meat or whatever that is, and the bun. The lettuce is missing. And the reason why the lettuce is missing is because the enzymes in the lettuce break it down. Just like if you leave a banana, you see how it's turning right um, the enzymes in the bananas tr is breaking it down Th there's no chance here with the donut and the cheeseburger to break it down eight years so what I did was I went to a fast food restaurant bought the cheeseburger bo bought the donut and I wanted to experiment left it on the counter and still didn't mold, didn't do anything like that. Yeah, so, because it's not fresh. It's not fresh, it has no natural ingredients. So I do have a food formula, directions for healthy eating, to help the viewers out great. there. Would you like to Let's hear it? Let's talk about okay, it. Okay, great. So food, F-O-O-D, food, F, flexible to try new foods. So if kale does not do it for you, maybe you can try some cucumbers, or maybe you can try different types of kale, like lancinato kale or curly kale. Okay. Oh. The O is organic food is the way. If, you know, ease into the organic foods, try different types. Um, the other O is optimal health is the goal. And D, do it, discipline yourself, you deserve it, ease into it. Um, I tell people that they can research the ingredients, research recipes. Uh, if they go to my best, mybesthealthtips.com, they can get recipes on my website. And there's a raw vegan cheesecake on oh, that wow. website, so they can do that. They also need to create a vegan environment and uh, you know, clean out the refrigerator, clean out the pantry, get rid of the processed foods, and then also ease into it. So maybe don't do seven days, start with one day a week. Awesome, thank you so much, Tina Saki, yes. health expert. Again, you can go to WTSP.com and get details of the website that you, uh, you told people to go to. Thank you very much. Bobby, one thing I'm glad she didn't say, <laughs> ice cream.